Okay, now we can talk about the, some good Chucky. Let's go. Let's just forget that movie ever happened. That one. Let's just forget. Curse of Chucky. So, Curse of Chucky, the 2013 supernatural horror movie that stars our boy Chucky. He's back again. The movie takes place 25 years after the original Child's Play movie, but I think nine years after it's Seed of Chucky, the movie which is never going to talk about ever again. F fuck that movie. And is the movie good? I'd say this movie will definitely a breath of fresh air. I remember, like, this movie came out in 2013. So, like I said, this was so much 2004 when Seed of Chucky came out. My last time talking about it. It was so long ago that we were just like, okay, regular day or whatever. And they was like, oh, we're making a new Chucky movie. Curse of Chucky. We saw a trailer for it. We're like, oh, okay. This looks like Chucky's coming back. But then we found out it was going to go to Netflix, going to go straight to DVD. Now it made us be like, straight to DVD. What what the fuck? Are we losing faith in Chucky? What's going on? Why is it coming straight to DVD? He, he should be coming out in theaters. I will say that it was, a, it was a risk, but it paid off because this movie was actually a nice chill, self-contained Chucky story. But also a good, like, celebration of the legacy of Chucky. That's why I, I like it a lot. I like it a little bit more than, like, maybe Child's Play 3, because I like the celebration of everything coming full circle and shit. Chucky got a new look in this little updated look, because, you know, CGI now, everything has to be CGI. It doesn't look as bad as how he looks in Cold of Chucky. He doesn't look bad in that movie. I'm just saying, like, Chucky looked his best in Child's Play 2. They just, just stuck with that. In pros, cons, but I believe that Curse of Chucky, that is on Blu-ray and on DVD. You can get that. Thing is on Netflix. Should be, because it came out on Netflix. It could, it could still be there. But anyway, you slice it. Let's talk about Curse of Chucky. Let's go. Back in the movie, like I said, we got Brad Dorf as Chucky. Still going strong 25 years later. Still love him. Still bringing his life, his, you know, good guy attitude and assholeism. But this time he's got his daughter with him, Fiona Dorf. And his daughter, a real chip off the old block. Because the man, her relationship to Chucky in his movie, and the fact that she is Brad Dorf's daughter, it just works on so many levels. And it just works out perfectly. The chemistry between the two of them. Because, of course, father and daughter, they better have good chemistry. Males in the movie, you don't care about because their acting is as good as porn. Not the good porn either. The kind of porn is just like, why does porn have a story? Why? Okay, plot in the movie. More or less, the movie takes place, like I said, 25 years after the original Child's Play. So, you got these two people. You know, you got Fiona Dora's character. I think her name's Nika. That's her name? Nika. I saw the movie. I'm terrible with names. I told you guys. But you got Nika and her mother. One day, they're just chilling. Nika, she's she's a parabol par paraplegic. She, she's in a wheelchair. She's paralyzed from the waist down. You get a package. And what's in that package? What could it be? What could it be? It's a good guy, doll. What are the odds? Of course, later that night, the good guy doll ends up killing, well, her mother falls, falls down some steps. Who did that? You just got Chucky just sitting in the background, just kind of chilling like, huh, huh, they don't know I did it. Huh, 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 I'm gonna get away with another murder because these people are stupid. So then Nika's extended family, they come to spend the night with Nika. So of course, that's the perfect opportunity for Chucky to start fucking people up left or right. And he kills a lot of them in the house, you know, you know, it's just pretty much Chucky in a house massacre, folks. In the pocket. Nice and simple. But the revelation of, like, yeah, the way that Nika and her mom connected Charles Lee Ray way back when he was human is interesting because it's an interesting, like, little, like, ah, oh, like, okay, this was in the beginning. Like, this is how this became that. This is how this became that. Like, yeah, like those full circle shit. Adds to existing lore. It makes it fit like it's a puzzle. I like that. As far as the movie, I say that, like I said, I like how it connects to the first movie, how it's just like, yeah, it just fits perfectly. Even you have Chucky have his look from Bride of Chucky. I don't know, like, is, is it a different body or is it the same body from that that part? They, they don't really explain till the next movie and even that Explanation's kind of stupid. But you got Chucky again, like I said, doing his good guy shenanigan shit. I know how, like, it just, it's real simple in the pocket. It's a movie that when I watched it, I was just like, simple Chucky movie. That's all I need. It doesn't have any comedy. It doesn't go the comedy route, which is awesome. It's just straight horror, even though it's still kind of that predictable horror because it's still Chucky in the house killing folks. And you know it's Chucky. You got Rebels in the movie just kind of just like, Who, how are these people dying? What's happening? What's going on? It couldn't be the good guy dog. Just Killer dolls? No! Even though this is the universe where it is still in the continuity of Child Play 1, 2, and 3, where a lot of unsolved murders and mysteries happen with a good guy doll around. 
You had to make an assumption here. At the end of the day, Curse of Chucky had a good time with it. It came out directly on DVD when it first came out in 2013, and I was just like a little nervous, but at the end of the day, I think it worked. It worked all good. It didn't need to be in theaters. This is perfect, just like quick, I think like 90 minutes or so movie. You can just power through, be like, oh yeah, cool, cool Chucky movie. I could watch that one. The rank it among the other Chucky movies, again, we still got Child's Play 2, Child's Play 1, uh, mm, Child Play 3, blur, I think I'll do Curse of Chucky over Bride of Chucky. Just got to stay a little bit in the horror route. And of course, the one that won't be mentioned is still on the bottom. If you think about Curse of Chucky, comment below, let me know to talk about it. We got two more Chucky movies to go until the TV show debuts. I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video. We going strong with Chucky. As always, guys, subscribe. Until next time.